Hey guys, it's Holden here with another guitar tutorial for you. Today we're looking at Hootie and the Blowfish, I Only Want to Be With You. Now, super easy song, super fun song to play. It's going to need a capo on two. If you don't have one, there's going to be a link in the description. I've had this one for about 17 years or so. It's pretty much industry standards. It's the, the Kaiser capo. You can find it in all types of colors, so uh, check that out if you don't have one. Now, uh, we'll kind of jump right into it. With um, so it's a capo on two, standard tuning. The EPM is around I think 103, 103. Now what I'm doing there is pretty much just an E, and then it, I believe it's E suspended, second, fourth. Either way, so it's just. Open, two, two, one, open, 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 four, two, open, open. And then this part, which you, it's basically a power chord, but you let the other three notes ring out like this. And the strumming pattern is pretty simple. It's uh, just down, up, down, up, down, up. And the second part is like up, up, down, 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 up. So. Pretty simple. Now the only other part that's, uh, the only other rhythm part that you're really gonna need to know is uh, you know I'm tangled up in blue that part uh, so it's at least that's I mean that's how I play it I think it sounds great it's got a great uh, tone to it so in this one it's almost like in the first one it's almost an inverted power chord if you will uh, four four two open open don't play the bottom E so just four four two open open the next one is a variation of an A uh, so just open two two open open and that's pretty much it for the rhythm parts that you'll need to know it kind of goes back and forth through that. Um, so the rest that's, that's kind of left up to it is the solo and the lead that goes over the chorus part. So for that, we're going to need to use um, an electric guitar. Uh, we have an electric going on here. Uh, capo, back on two. Just keep the capo on two. Um, I've got headphones on here so the sound doesn't go into the mic. <clears throat> that's for your benefit as well. So the first part we'll look at here is the lead. Uh, you know, when he's, whenever he says, always want, only, only want to be with you, uh, there's a little lead that goes. And that's pretty simple. Uh, you'll learn it in the next two seconds. So basically, uh, on the A string, two, four. And then on the D string, two, four, four, six, four, two, four, two. That's it. And then slowly. And that's all you really need to know about that part. Now the more fun part is the solo that's just coming up. Um, make sure you keep the capo on that, on too. So the, the solo is really fun because it has uh, you know bends, slides, pull-offs, the works. So it's kind of going to be a little you know a little workout here for this. So the first part we'll we'll take it section by section. Uh, the first part. Let me change my pick actually. Oh, and by the way, I don't, you know, it's funny. I don't even own a guitar amp. I'm using uh, an app called Amplitube. It just comes through my computer speakers or my headphones or whatever. Um, it's like, it simulates amps. So, I mean, check that out too. If, you, if you're looking for a solution, if you live in, a, in like an apartment or something like, like I do, um, and you don't have a guitar amp, uh, it's a good, uh, it's a good op, you know, opportunity. It's a good alternative if you don't have that. So, check that out. So the first part is the pull-offs part. <laughs> 
And uh, it, it might sound kind of tangled in the actual mix, but I'll show it to you slowly first, uh, then you'll kind of get the hang of it here. So what I'm doing there is four pull off open. And these are just on the high E and the B strings. It all follows the same pattern. It's just basically an open, it's just pluck, pull off, and then open B. So the, the pattern here is four, seven, two, seven, four, four, seven, five, four, two. So. And the way that, it, so that, that's kind of how it's played at, uh, at a regular speed. And there's two ways you can kind of end that part. So the, the first one is. And that's how I usually play it. It keeps the sound full. Um, but you want to be aware, you're going to be playing, you know, picking like this the whole time. So. But that last part, if you pick it, like, if you keep picking it like that, it's going to mess up your next pattern. So uh, the way I get around that is I pick it like. And the last one here, I pick down, up. And that sets me right back up for a down. So that's typically how I, uh, I would attack that part. But you can also just kind of play it like. And just leave it. And then start again. And nobody would probably notice, but to keep it more sound, more sounding full, um, you know, you probably want to. Play it like that. Um, and now the next part is is a fun little rundown. Now, real quickly here, there's uh, there's a bit of a mix. So there's just some slide up to that. In this case, it would be six. And whenever I say six, it's after the, the capo. Six, four, six, four, seven. Starting on the G string. And then back to four. So this is how you play it. Oh, this is it. This is it slowly. The next part is the probably the most fun part. We're gonna do it all in one go. So the first is a bend, and uh, I guess for simplicity, I'd hate to change the uh, the way that I'm doing things here. But for simplicity, we're going with the bend on the the thirteenth fret, the actual thirteenth fret, not the not relative to the capo. So it's just a full bend, one like a full step. So you're going to bend that, and then, and that's on the G string, and then you're going to play the uh, 14th fret on the high E string, so, like that. Oh, that was kind of flat. There we go. So, it, I'll play it real slow for you. Play it again. So, okay, so essentially that is bend up, 14th fret. And then in real time, it would just be. That's about that's about the the speed that they play it. And that's essentially the all you'd really need to know to play Hootie and the Blowfish. Uh, only want to be with you. Thanks for watching. If you guys like that video, please give me a like.
and subscribe to the channel. I just started this channel and I hope to bring you a lot more guitar tutorials and even some covers as well. If you have some suggestions for future videos, leave it in the comments below or any questions, just leave it in the comments below. Until next time, take care.